When I was listening to this presentation, there seemed to be this, this undercurrent, um, like um, an assumption that the world is declining, society is declining, that the world is getting worse, worse. And I was wondering whether that was um, something that really is an underpinning of the thinking, or is that just kind of something that came up because of the, of the topic of pessimism versus optimism? By just about any measure you might, might care to apply, uh, things have, have been, been getting better, and they've been getting better because of science and technology, largely, uh, and, um, you know, dealing with diseases and, and, and sanitation and helping us with other uh, perennial human issues. And, um, and yet, uh, we don't think that that's the case. Yeah, we're, I think it's, we're hardwired to kind of always think it's worse. Yeah. And, and you're absolutely right. I mean, science and technology have made the world, for most people on Earth, they live a much better life. And that's not saying there aren't miserable conditions around the world that we could, we actually have the capability of doing something about. But, but for most people in the world, their, their lives are so much better than it was uh, due to science and technology, for not just the technology of science and the healthcare, which is really the major thing, but, you know, my friend Steven Pinker wrote a wonderful book, which, you know, The Better Angels of Our Nature, which shows that even violence, which we tend to think of as when we hear about terrorism and all the rest, is in, in the decline. And I, and I think it's science and rationalism and empiricism and the realization that you could, that, you know, other people suffer and, 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 and uh, those things uh, have, have made the world a better place. There's no doubt about it. And that's but not I to say there aren't big problems. I just was glad to hear that. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think the book is really in response to dystopian stories. And I think that that goes to what Lawrence was saying about the fact that we sort of tell ourselves that things are getting worse, but that we aren't really telling stories about how it's getting better in a compelling way. You know, way. It's, as, I'm a teacher in, in part sometimes. And um, uh, I never met any f f faculty, you don't always say the students this year are worse than the year before. But somehow they still do stuff, you know, it's really amazing. 